Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Hi, Friday Night Flies, and we've got the, the green man is in the house. I'm green today. Um, Friday Night Flies. Halloween um, edition. Halloween edition. <laughs> um, <laughs> supposed to speak like a witch, but I'm not... Yeah, come on. You okay, go, fine. Oh, but what about like the Green Goblin or something like? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, bud. that was my best impression on that. <laughs> I'll just be, I'll just that was horrible, <laughs> man. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But you gotta look at the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's Friday Night Flies. Um, all these guys have been tying chum flies and everything, and I decided I'd share. <laughs> I decided I'd share one of my flies from uh, this summer that I tied up. I was uh, fishing up in northern BC, so um, fishing a lot of creek mouths and um, big streams and stuff. So I came up with uh, this sexy pattern right here. Um, it, you're, not, you're not green anymore. Oh, okay. I'm not green. I'm not green anymore. Okay. Um, so I came up with this sexy little pattern. Um, it's got. It's got a, a red attractor feathers. It sort of looks like um, fish bleeding in the water, um, as well as pink uh, deer belly hair on the back. You were, you were fishing that this summer. Cole. I was That's fishing. Cool. And you were doing real good with I it. I was doing good with it. I was getting 25 fish yeah, in like two hours. Okay, around well, there. you're starting to sound like a fisherman now. Well, uh, you know what they say about fishermen. I don't. always tell the truth. I, that's true. Um, they always. Tell. I, 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 they might stretch I it a bit. Yeah. But they always tell the truth. Always. <laughs> your okay. fingers are crossed, man. Quit crossing your fingers. Well. <laughs> okay, let's go down. Oh yeah, we're going down there. Okay, so this is the fly. Sir showed you a little bit of what it was already. I got some green in there for like the guts, whatever, and then. I got this nice craft fur, the whole, pretty much every guy here on Friday Night Flies is going on a craft fur sort of uh, except buzz. Zach, except Zach. Except for Zach. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's what he says. Zach says. So let's get started. I'm tying on a size 6 streamer mustad hook. Out of the way. That coffee's good, man. I'm down a whole cup and didn't even realize I drank it. Yeah, I make good coffee, don't I? I went for another mouthful and it was empty. Okay, so I'm using some white UTC uh, 140 thread. You didn't even cream in that one. I did, yeah. Yeah, it was extra smooth. Yeah, I just want it right on the hook, Ben. Uh, where are my scissors here? Okay, so now I'm going to take some pink deer belly hair. It's basically like... Uh, it's a lot like bucktail, except it's shorter, so I like it for this sort of thing. Just gonna take a chunk of it and tips are fairly aligned. Don't need to bother stacking it. Square off the ends, and I don't need a super long butt, but just so that it catches a fish's attention. So I'm just going to put it about that far back. Just going to have a couple loose wraps to start it. And then I can crank down on them. Okay, there we go. So now... That's good that I wanted it to splay out like that. Um, <laughs> see what I can do there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some diamond, some diamond dub uh, chartreuse green. Uh, you can mix it with a little bit of black if you prefer, but I just go with this. And this is just gonna act like the belly that's been torn open. Basically, I'm trying to represent 
salmon fry that's just been hammered on. Herd of elephants upstairs. Easy prey. Easy prey, exactly. Like so I'm just going to wrap that in there. And all I'm going to do is basically go three quarters, six eighths up the uh, shank. <clears throat> Tie that on there nice and thick. Okay, so we want to leave it about there, even that's, that's pushing it. So now, to make it look like the fish is actually bleeding and stuff, salmon fry, I'm just going to take some Superfly Red Attractor feathers. And I I got this stuff and I wasn't sure how much I'd actually use it, but for nice. this, this sort of thing, a lot. I just it sort of just caught my eye. When we first got it into the store, so did you I guess, get one of every color yet? No, unfortunately. Oh, start saving your pennies, bro. I know, but I'm saving up for a vehicle too, so stuff makes great woolly buggers. Actually, I was using them for woolly buggers as well. Okay, so now I've all I've done is I've split those feathers and pulled them off right there. Does he say any trophies? And you can see. How it sort of got a little bit of bend, so I'm going to take the bend side and put it on the outside, like your goose biots. Just tie it in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can buy it all down What color is it? Yeah, that's tied on on the one side, and then I've just done the same with the other. Yard roller, no, it's from the knitting section. Yeah, yeah. And then I have a multi then, then tie that in on the side. So now you can sort of see how it's what I'm trying to represent there. Tighten that up a little bit. And now we've got just some white graffer. And I really like this stuff, honestly. It's Every fly tonight has been tied with it, so it's yeah. something for you. So just take... We're going to do this in stages because if you do too much at one time, your fly is not going to work out. And if you're not going to use the fish skulls that I'm using, it's your fly is really not going to work out right and just use a UV cure. It's gonna ride funny in the water. You're not gonna be able to get a proper head on it. I've just been do doing what Brad and Scott and everyone else have been doing tonight, taking that bad fur, fake fur out. The fuzz. The fuzz. Take the fuzz out. So now I've just got a fairly sparse amount and I'm just gonna tie that in. Brad's on a coffee craze yeah, right man, now. Mean coffee for that. I know. Him and I are working tomorrow, so maybe I'll make him another special batch tomorrow. So now we got that in there. And we're just going to do the same to the bottom side. A bottle of Kahlua would have been damn good too. I think I'm going to throw that in yeah. for next week. Okay. Kahlua. Yeah, and well, Bailey's. Bailey's either way. Same thing. No, Bailey's is better. I'm with you. Did I just take his bill? No. Take out some of that fake fur. Oh, that's right. Bailey's Pinch it. Creamy stuff. Trim off the ends. Basically, I'm just going to put that in just like that. It's coming together. It is, slowly but surely. Tie that down. I don't want to be blocking the eye on this. Here we go. Now, we've almost got our fly complete. So, just going to do that one more time to each side. and But this time I'm going to take same chunk size, everything like that. Only I'm going to tie it in the opposite way and fold it over. 
And what this does is it really helps bulk out your head when you're tying without fish skulls. You see a lot of saltwater bait fish flies tied like this as well. I believe Jordan, who tied with Zach a while back, did something like this. Basically, that's just going to comb over like that. We're just going to leave that out. Do the same thing on the other side. This pattern, I just, I was not kidding. I was actually not stretching the truth when I was saying I was catching 20 fish in two hours. You said 25. Yeah. Okay. No, I think it started out 30 first. 30 first. Yeah, now it's, now you're now back down to 20. 20. Yeah, okay, well then now I can, I'm, I'm believing you. What's well, five fish? Where were you fishing? Oh, that's the zipper mouth creek right there. Oh yeah? Yeah. Was it when you were on vacation or when you were up here? On vacation. Well. And you're catching trout? Trout, yeah. Bull trout, um, uh, rainbows, pretty much any predatorial fish. And they're quite big, actually. Sharks. They're, oh, predators. they're predators. They're predators. Yeah. Fresh okay, fresh so fresh. now you can see that we've got that all splayed out. I'm just going to work my thread up to the front. I'm just going to take all that comb it back, lick my fingers, then pull that back and I just have a little paper clip or office clip that I put on to here just to hold that all back well. You didn't steal one of your, uh, your sister's hair clips, eh? No, I'd be in trouble if I did that, so, okay, so now I've just got some diamond dub Halo or holo or whatever it is. Holographic. Holographic. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. Just gonna put it up by the head. Now where's my dubbing brush? So I'm just gonna splay this out a little bit. Pull it through the fly. Pull it through the fly, pretty much. So now, it's whip finish time. Detail. That was it. That was pretty short. That's okay. We'll go short. Sure, it's okay. Okay, there we go. We got nicely whip finished off. Sure, it's okay. Now, I was tying this without fish skulls, and I didn't really like it. It was taking time. Scott showed me fish skulls. And so I'm tying them on a side or on a number five, which is good for size two to size six hook. And I'm just gonna put some. Oh, what the fish skull is there? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. So it's just basically a clear thing. Looks almost like a cone head, except with eyes, and it just really helps you um, with your bait fish like this. So I'm just gonna shove that on there. Like so. Clean up the eye a little bit. And I'm just going to cure that. The, I just put a UV resin inside it. Really easy to put on and cure. And now for the last stage if I can find them, there they are. I've got yellow fish eyes. Super fly. They're just sticky eyes, stick on eyes. Which way am I spinning this? Just gonna bring the whole life of the fly together. And I came up with the name of the fly because winter soon approaching, or pretty much here, pretty close. It snowed in Whistler. Oh, we don't really want to talk about that. Hell no, man. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you? Well, you don't want to. I mean, there's one season. 
ends and other begins. And I'm just not quite ready for that other next season yet. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. The next season being ice fishing. I'm just, I mean, the coho fishing and the chum salmon fishing right now is so damn good. So damn good. Yeah, it's it's so tough to tough to stray away from that right now. I mean, when your guides are complaining about to sit on a bucket. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, there's nothing wrong with that when you're catching 30 inch rainbows either. No, that is true. Nothing wrong with that. But we get enough of it. I tell you that right now. It does make for some long days sometimes. Oh no, not at all. It no, does. We, it's we just... love our ice fishing. We just ain't ready for the chum. That's to be true. To be done. That's what we're saying. We yeah. haven't got our, our fill yet. I, uh, I haven't broken all my rods yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're doing good this year, man. But I haven't broke you've... one yet this year. Broke. Well, it's like playing a violin some days, eh? I, yeah, I broke four last year. Yeah, but you've changed a lot of your setups. You're not really running. I went up a weight size. Yeah. No more eight weights are not coming out with the chum anymore. Yeah. Hear that, guys? No more eight weights with the chums. Not, they're that good. They're, it's, they're doable with the eight weights, but what I found is that if you are reeling like hell when they're running at you, it always throws a loop around the tip, and yeah, that is too, when too soft. Yeah. That's when I Deepest. find they get broken. Yeah. And it's not because the fish are pulling too hard, it's because you're reeling like hell and it throws a loop over the tip when they're soft. And then they turn and go the other way. You call out the rope a dope, kabang, show over. And there we go. There's the frostbite. And the nines are throwing our big, like, the, the dumpster so, pie and the yeah. zaza. They're throwing those big pies pretty You got a big nice. something snot hanging underneath that. that. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Or is that the first one? No. No, I was just pointing out. There we go. Give her a nice little roll there, bud. Nice little roll. That's a beautiful fly, man. Yeah. Before you do your thumbnail, fix those uh, red feathers. Should probably do Pull them straight back there. There you go. There we go. Right. Hold on, I nice gotta, job. Um, I, don't, I don't wanna do this. So that's my frostbite. It was just killer up north this year on Zippermouth Creek. Uh, if you ever get a chance to fish it in Zippermouth. Zippermouth, yeah. You got a couple of those on you tonight? Uh no. If you got a tour tomorrow then they'd probably be pretty good <laughs> on there. Alright, give me a little thumbs up. There it is, perfect, right there, bud. We got the thumbnail we're looking for. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna throw this back in to overdrive. That's the only problem with this camera tonight is that uh, if I don't have things set up perfectly when it comes to uh, green screen, they can be a assless bastard. Okay, so we're going back up top. Okay, sounds good. There you are. Okay, so that was my fly for the week. Uh, sorry I wasn't here last week, uh, had a hockey game in the city and wasn't able to make it, but, win. yes. Woohoo! And it's worth it. Yes, it is worth it. Okay, listen, you're green again, oh so give God. us your God. best God. cackle. Okay. Look at the camera. Right oh. the <laughs> Let me try my best right one. Camera. For Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy guys. Halloween. And good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, guys. I didn't get too much of your fight, sorry, but hey, the main.